In here. Good morning. I guess from your point of view, it's not so good, though. How you doing? Look, what are you doing here? Didn't your mother tell you? She hired me to represent you. I don't need any representation. Well, you can't go into court without it. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't need a lawyer. Well, your mother disagrees. That's why she hired me. And I'm going to do everything in my power to get you off, Colton. I want to go back to my cell. No, no, wait, wait, wait a minute. This is your arraignment today, and I have to talk to you. I've talked all I'm going to talk. Yeah, I know. I, I, you're probably all tapped out, and you feel it's all stacked against you. But once we sort things out... There's nothing to sort out, okay? I've talked to the police. I've given a full confession to Robert. There's nothing that you or anyone else can do to change that. Well, that's not true. There are a number of things that we can do. For example, your confession. It was taken under duress. There's a lot of legal maneuvers here, Colton, and I think that I can get you off, okay? Look, get this through your head. I don't want to be saved. All right, Phyllis, and please get back to me. Yes, I have this number. All right, fine. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, good morning. Good morning. I hope I didn't wake you. No, you didn't. Have a good sleep. You haven't slept in days. Mm -hmm. Good, well, there's some coffee on the stove. What would you like for breakfast? Who's Phyllis? <laughs> She's my travel agent. I don't want you to leave. It's time. I don't want to say goodbye. Well, this time you won't have to. You're going with me. For some time now, I have wanted to take a world cruise. Doesn't that sound wonderful? A trip around the world? I want to see all those places that I've only read about and, and seen on television or in the movies. Hmm? Well, what do you think? Well, if that's what you want to do, I think you should do it. Oh, I'm going to do it. Especially now that I can afford it. Mm -hmm. But the only thing is, the thing that's been stopping me is that... I didn't really like the idea of doing it alone. I thought it would be a wonderful thing to share with someone. And I'd like it to be you. You're doing this for me? For both of us. Oh, please, say you'll come. How long would we be gone? As long as it takes. As long as it takes for what? As long as it takes for you to get your life back together. Oh, come on, Felicia, you've got to get away. This is a perfect opportunity. Doesn't it sound just the least bit tempting? Yes. Yes, there, you said yes. No. Grandmother, yes. I would love to spend time with you. I would. But I can't leave right now. Why not? Just give me one good reason. Because of the complex. We just opened it. The complex. From what I've seen and from all the work you've done, there are people just lined up and ready to make that whole place run smoothly. I don't want to let anybody down. Darling, I know that Frisco's memorial is important. But even more important than that now is you. You won't be any good to the complex or to anything if you don't get your life back on track. I'm grateful. I hear another butt coming up. All right, now look, I, I won't say any more, but there's still time to make a decision. So please, just, just think it over seriously and then let me know. I will. Oh, it'll be so glorious. You know, we can, we can go first to the British Isles and then we can visit all the ports of Europe. Now, Venice has always been first on my list. <laughs> what about you? Felicia, what is it? Colton, it's going to be a rain today. Oh. We're doing court pretty soon, so let's get to work. I uh, read your police report. I have nothing to add to the statement. Well, there's one big loophole, and that's motive. Nor did you say or did you even hint as to why you wanted to kill Frisco Jones. What difference does it make? Well, that makes a big difference, because he didn't know the guy. Why would you want him dead? You read the statement, I killed him, period, all right? He was after a group of terrorists. 
Does that have anything to do with it? Were you working with them, or were you working with him? Okay, let me put it to you this way. Why were you in Quebec the day he was killed? Were you hired to kill him? Is that it? Come on, you can tell me. Colton, don't fight me. Work with me. I've got to go into court, and I've got to have something. Now, give me something, anything. I have nothing to say. No, I think you have plenty to say, but you choose not to. And I don't know why. Now, one more time. Give me something. Because if you don't, you kill a federal agent. That's maximum punishment. And I'm not talking about life imprisonment. I'm talking about the death penalty. I know that. That's exactly what I deserve. Look, whether you did it or you didn't, that's not the point. If you stay on this course, you're committing suicide. And I will plead insanity before I let you do that. Uh, the phone. The, the I'll phone. Get it. I'll get it. How's coffee? It's great. Can it pour me another cup? Mm, you have to be at the courthouse. Hello? Oh, hello, Chief Lewis. Good morning. Yes, he's here. Hang on. It's for you. Um... For you? He's waiting. This had better be good, Lewis. Good morning, Commissioner. Well, it sure started out that way. Look, I don't want to spoil it, but, uh... Just got a phone call. I figured you want to know. Two WSB agents are on their way over here. They should be here any minute. Well, just keep me entertained until I get there. Uh, give them uh, uh, Colton's uh, statement. I'll see you in a while. What's going to happen to Colton? He'll be arraigned today. And then? Justice will take its course. You know, I don't believe for a minute that he's a killer. He's fooled a lot of people. Are you saying you think he is? Well, he confessed. And by the way, did you, um... Did you speak to Anna last night about how, Robin? How could I? I was here. Besides, look, I've already explained the whole situation to Lavery. I would assume by now he has conveyed the information to Anna. I worry too much. That's right, you do. Now, much as I hate to admit it, I have a job to do, and I should get on with it. I'll take that. Bye. Mm -hmm. Hey, volunteer with a wheelchair. Did you read this about Colton? Uh, it only makes things worse. What? Nothing, Amy. Nothing. Do you have a headache? A big one. I really wonder how Colton feels. You know, I, I just can't believe any of this. I, can't, I don't think anybody who knows him can. It says that a bunch of his fans are picketing outside the jail. Don't you figure that there's something more to this that we don't know about? It doesn't make any sense to talk about it. Guess not. Hope you feel better. So do I. Oh, Tom, I... Sorry. I almost forgot. Felicia called and she wants to talk to you. See you. Yeah. I figured she would. Thank you, Amy. Okay. 